Noam Chomsky, you've occasionally been chided by your friends for not coming up with enough positive alternatives, for not coming up with some revolutionary strategy to, to get at the root of problems. How do you respond to that? Is, uh, I mean, is that, part mm -hmm. of your, is that part of your job? Sure. I mean, to the extent that I... First of all, I don't think that anybody, certainly not me, is smart enough to plan in any detail a, a, a you know a perfect society or even a, a you know you know the, a society the, to show in detail how a society based on more humane commitments and uh, uh, and concern for human values would function. I think we can say a lot about what it would be like, but we can't spell it out in great detail. Furthermore, what it would be like, I think, is reasonably well understood and has been for, in, in some ways, for centuries. Uh, we would like to see a society in which people, in which we overcome coercive institutions. Uh, absolutist, unaccountable institutions should not be tolerated in our time. That means primarily the uh, uh, financial and corporate centers, which are basically totalitarian in character and are now transnational in scale, and the state powers that... Uh, uh, and, and by now larger than state powers that respond to their interests. And the same is true for structures of authority and domination down to the level of inside the family. Uh, those should be combated and overcome. Uh, we should work for uh, democratic control in communities, in workplaces, over investment decisions, uh, 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 eliminating uh, hierarchic uh, relations and relations of dominance among people and states and uh, ethnic groups and so on. Uh, all of that's understandable. I think you can go on to describe in greater detail how possibilities about how such freer and more democratic structures might, might function. But the real answers will come by experience and testing. We don't, nobody understands enough to, sp you couldn't spell out in detail in the mid uh, 18th century the, how a parliamentary democracy might work. You had to try it. The general ideas could be there, but you had to try them and explore them and uh, experiment with them and so on. And the same is true of uh, expansion of freedom and democracy and justice today. As for a revolutionary strategy, I've never heard of one. When I look over history, the only strategy I see is trying to educate yourself, to help others become educated, to learn from others, to uh, organize uh, uh, and to the extent that organization proceeds to uh, uh, take action to try to uh, relieve injustice, to uh, extend freedom and so on. Now that action can take many different forms. So just in my own life, I've been involved in things ranging from direct resistance uh, to uh, giving talks or you know, taking part in meetings. And there, there, there are no further secrets as, as, long, as far as I'm aware. I mean, the problem is one of dedicating oneself, to the extent you can at least, nobody's a saint, to dedicating oneself to the tasks that uh, have to be undertaken. And, you know, we can see what they are.